You may or may not have seen these tiny black and white mini printers before. I feel like there's been a lot of sponsored posts for them. Anyway, they print black and white little stickers like this, and they're so cute. This one's mine. It's the Fememo MO2S, and I love it, but I found it was really difficult to get predictable results from the printer. So like, let's say I have this penguin that I want to print. If you use the official Fememo app, the print preview looks like this, but then the actual print turns out like this. And honestly, I kind of love it. Like, I love how dramatic this is. But at the same time, it is just very different from what the original image looked like and what the print preview said it would print like. So originally I thought there was just something about the printer itself that made it produce these really dark and high contrast images. But this is actually happening because of the software. These mini printers are a type of thermal printer. These type of printers only print black dots. They don't print color, they don't print gray. So even if it looks like there's some gray shading on an image, it's actually all black dots with space in between. When you open the Fememo app and insert a color image or even a grayscale image, it needs to convert the image to only black and white pixels. So that's actually where the issue is occurring. Whatever Fememo is doing for this color conversion seems to be super optimized for label makers. That means line art tends to look really great, but photos sometimes end up printing like this, like really dark and without a lot of detail. The Fememo app doesn't let you control this color conversion process directly, so it can be really hard to correct for this issue without a lot of trial and error. Okay, so that's where I come in. My name is Victoria, I'm a software engineer who really loves stickers and journals and everything paper related. So when I figured out that this was the problem, I was like, yes, I am the hero we need here. And so I created Mini Printer Pal. Mini Printer Pal is a macOS app that I built that lets you control how to convert a color image to a black and white image optimized for the Fomemo MO2S. Using Mini Printer Pal, if you give it an image like this, you get a print preview like this, and the final print looks something like this. The print preview you see here is exactly what is sent to the printer to be printed, which makes it a lot easier to predict what the final print is going to look like. You can change brightness and contrast, the size, the dithering or halftoning algorithm, the overall lightness of the print, and I have a couple of presets here to help you get started. The first preset is meant for photos, like our penguin friend. And these other two are pretty fun. They're meant to help you easily create line art stickers from drawings. So let's say that you're scrolling Pinterest and maybe you see a cute image like this. You can just copy paste this image directly into Mini Printer Pal, click the preset, click the print button, and you get a line art sticker that looks like this. These presets are just starting points, and you're not going to get great results every time just by pressing the button, so don't be afraid to just fiddle with the knobs until you get something that looks good to you. Okay, and then totally unrelated, but uh, you can also print QR codes with Mini Printer Pal. I just thought that'd be a useful feature, so I added that too. Anyway, that is it. I just wanted to introduce you to this little toy that I've made. You can try it out yourself. It's available on itch.io. There is a macOS version and a web version, and it is totally free and open source. Mini Printer Pal is just a little hobby project that I made for myself in a few weeks. And so it is far from perfect. It is far from revolutionary, but I had a lot of fun making it and it really makes me happy. So I'm really proud of it nonetheless, and I'm really excited to be sharing it with you today. So I hope you enjoy Mini Printer Pal as much as I do, and please give it a try on itch.io. Thanks for watching. Bye, friends!